clash resolution techniques we have got three techniques bucketing chaining and rehashing in bucketing in bucketing when a hash key basically points to a location in hash table that already has data in that case what happens that computer finds out that a record is already placed at that location and that is called a clash or collision in that case computer starts looking forward from that location onwards and wherever it finds an empty space it adds the record over there all right now let's do it again another hash key points to this location let's say in this case computer will find a clash over here so computer would go further and save over here okay if you see co collision always happens always happens but with the smart hashing algorithm we can reduce the number of collisions in bucketing technique to solve collision what basically happens okay we sometimes have clusters of records at a scattered location in a big hash table so that is like making it a bucket and that is why we call it bucket clash resolution technique so this is simple a hash key points to the location that is already having a record computer finds a clash there and from that point onwards it looks for an empty space and as soon as that empty space is found record is placed over there now when computer access the same hash key for having the record rather than saving for reading the record in that case computer would have one key field with that key field a hash key will be generated computer would point to that location in hash table and will find out that this is not the required key since it would already be known this is already known that the bucketing clash resolution technique is used computer would start automatically looking forward chaining chaining uses linked list linked list data structure will be discussed next year in your p3 anyways what basically happens when a key field is hashed to the location which already has the data then what computer does computer does not use hash table anymore rather it gets out in the open ram open ram finds a location this is very important concept if it is going to save it and the location has clashed in hash table then it happens find a location copy the data which is there already to that particular location and this location's address is saved to this particular address which clashed in the hash table and then another location is found to save the record that you already have a hash key for means the new record that you want to save you add up that record here the new one which basically clash for and then in this previous position in the ram you would define the address of next node and then at the end you use a null sign to say there are no further nodes suppose another key for the second time clashes to the same location computer would see that the clash resolution technique is chaining so it would just point to that location and it would see that an address is pre present 
so it means that chaining from that location has already been started so it would follow that chain reaches to the node that has null and find another node put the data in that node and null will be replaced by the pointer of that new node and in new node pointer would be then null so in case if it is happening for the very first time the whole procedure is done now when it tries to read so all it see ki when it requires a record and it reaches to the location in hash table and see instead of record there is a pointer there so it, it starts following that pointer out in the free ram and that's about it this is called chaining while in rehashing in rehashing what happens that you have number of hashing algorithms not just one but multiple if one clashes if one clashes the other one is used if one clashes let's say this clashed this clashed okay no issue use the next one if it clash again use the next one and similarly you would be going through all the different hashing algorithm one would be there that would not clash and you would save now this is when you want to save when you want to retrieve you again find the location using the first hashing algorithm you reach to that position and you find out this is not the required record then you take another hashing algorithm and similarly you use one by one by one all of those until you find your required record and that is how rehashing is done so pretty much rehashing would be uh, more complicated because you have to have different hashing algorithm for it all right so this would be a programming why this would be the bigger hashing work than others that's it